All right, this is Pastor Scott. We're about to go live. It looks like a brother's sitting down, so I'm going to flip this around. God bless you guys. Pray, pray, pray. We're going live on the air in every way possible right now. The whole world. Okay, once again, a pleasant good morning to one and all. Buenos dias, buenos dias, buenos dias, sorry, Joao, buenos dias, when you say good morning to you, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, you're truly sunny here with you. And of course, we are this morning with um, with brother Philip Clifton. 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 Okay, uh, that's right. Okay, you better have you have a wonderful name, you know, Philip. Okay, Philip is a wonderful name. Okay, and, and I will tell you why later on. Okay, but first of all, we gotta say good morning to one another. Good morning, Belize. Good morning, morning, Joan. Buenos días. Gracias por estar con nosotros. Gracias, Miss Patty, for uh, el tiempo. Thanks to Miss Patty for the time that we are here this morning as well. I'm giving us the opportunity. But um, Brother Philip, tell us a little bit about Philip Clipion and of course what are you doing in the nation of Belize? Well, first of all, we want to thank everybody for allowing us to come down here and the Lord for protecting us. And uh, we, uh, we came down here several years ago and we saw a miracle starting to happen. And the reception from so many people was incredible. And what we wanted to do is blanket the land. You've got to remember what your constitution says. It's unlike any constitution in the world or, or, or that has ever been. It simply says in the first verse, it says, We the people of Belize affirm that the nation of Belize will be founded on the principles acknowledging the, the uh, supremacy of God Almighty. And it ends that first paragraph with, We are endowed by our creator. And when I go to the Bible and I think about that, the psalmist David about 3,000 years ago gave us a, a psalm in the 60th psalm, the fourth verse, God has given a banner to them that fear him that it might be displayed because of the truth. So we think that if we go into the six districts, the three cities, the seven, I mean the three uh, cities, uh, the seven towns, the 200 villages, and magnify the Lord by displaying his word, where people will see Jesus hundreds of times a day, thousands of times a month, every day the rest of their life, and God's people will step up. The Bible says that a nation and its people that will honor God, Philip, God will honor that nation. And reaching 415,000 Belizeans, that's what we have in the country after the last statistics. Um, you, you said blanket, you, bl you want to put blanket the land, okay? And of course we do know that Belize is a nation. It's a beautiful nation, wonderful people, great people. Uh, and of course even our constitution, our foundation is based on the Lord. So we are proud of Jesus. I want to see to see this. Okay, we are proud of Jesus. We love Jesus a lot, and we keep on saying this over and over. But yes, we have our young population, our young people, which is our cry every morning, that the Lord may just may just shower upon them a gentle rain of peace, a peace that will that passes all understanding, a Amen. peace, a peace that this world itself cannot give. And this is our prayer every day. And of course, uh, um, Brother Phil, we listen every day to crime in Belize, and, and we know that the only answer for that is Jesus. It's not the police, it's not what they do, it's Jesus. And Second Chronicles 7, 14 is very clear when they say, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, seek my face, turn their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, he says. I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. Did you see, Philip? There's a condition there, isn't there? If my people, if who my will people. humble themselves, pray, seek my face, 
and turn from them, then and only then will I hear. I will not only hear, but I'll forgive Belize's sin and I'll heal Belize's land. So there's a condition if we do, then God will. Brother Phil, you are you want to blanket the, the country. You are starting here in Orijuak. Tell us, tell us where will you be? Where 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 will your team be? I see you have a very energetic team that is ready to go and start spreading this blanket. Where well, will you be? This isn't just starting. We started this years ago. We brought over 10,000 magnets. Uh, we thought, uh, sent over uh, 10,000 banners and magnets, uh, tens of thousands of tracks we brought down. Uh, our purpose is, is to bring the Ten Commandments back into the consciousness of our people and our children. And my question, like in America, how can they learn them? How can they know them, keep them, or do them if they've never seen them anymore? Well, in America, what we did in the 60s, we took the prayer, the Ten Commandments in the Bible out of our schools, and you can see the dilemma we are in today. We believe that if we can take these Ten Commandments, go into the jails and the prisons, we can get every prisoner that's willing to learn the Ten Commandments, ten dollars bullies in, and the Bible says, the word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against the Holy God. Once they've hid every word, they've got to get every word of these right, then we'll give them ten dollars. Now, let's say they're in there for being a burglar or a thief, or they're stealing all the time. Well, once they've hid this word in their heart, uh, Matthew 6, 21 simply says, where your heart is, there will your treasure be also. So, you see, once they learn them and they get out and they try to steal, immediately the conviction of the Holy Ghost of the Holy Word they've hid in their heart and they steal no more. Now we go to Ephesians 4.28 and the Bible says, He that stole, let him steal no more, but work with the labor of his hands that which is good. Now that thief, that burglar is a new creature in Christ Jesus and now he's helping those that are in need. That's the good news of Jesus Christ for setting the captives free. In other, in other words, believe these some jobs. We need some jobs for these men to work because uh, many of them are, are without jobs. They are jobless people in this country. I think the unemployment is almost about 50%. 50% of Belizeans are unemployed by the film, and that's a problem that even our government um, lies on. And we have to hold them, we have to hold the bull by the horn and, and see exactly what's going on. But again, the blanket is being spread years ago. It's about 10,000 magnets are being spread in the country of Belize. And of course, we are in the Christmas season, and we cannot forget that the real reason for this season is Jesus. Jesus is the reason for this season, and we have to keep on sharing this with our people. Um, Brother Phil, um, the hearts of Belizeans are, are, are aching, are in pain, and, and we know that. And we know that the only, the only healing that we can have, indeed, is Jesus. Tell us a bit, tell us a bit about this. This day. Well, Jesus said simply in, uh, he said in uh, 1232 in uh, John, if I be lifted up, I'm going to draw all men to me. And it simply says a lot of people know John 316, for God so loved the world. But let's go to 314 to 21. It simply says, as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the name of Jesus be lifted up. We're not doing it. But now we see everywhere. We The last two days, we saw people coming up to us and said, hey, can I get one for my car? Uh, can I? Now, if you can imagine a movement of righteousness and the light coming in, uh, Jesus says in 8.12, Jesus says, I'm the light of the world in John. If any man come after me, he will not live in darkness, but have the light of life. But you've got to remember now after 3.16, it's 3.17, Jesus did not come into the world to condemn the world, but through Jesus the world might have life. And a lot of people say, well, man, these Ten Commandments are, 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 are too condemning. Well, Jesus says, he that believeth in Jesus is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already. And this is the condemnation that Jesus has come into the world, Philip. But men love darkness rather than Jesus because their deeds are evil. It says, whosoever doeth evil, they hate him. They hate him, neither cometh to him lest their deeds be reproved. But he that doeth the truth runs to Jesus that those deeds may be manifest in their, in their rotten God. So you see, this name of Jesus, if we're lifting up, which is quick and powerful, you know, you've got to remember in the fifth chapter of Mark, Philip, uh, Jesus got off the boat in the uh, Gadarenes and immediately there met him a man with an unclean spirit and he ran and fell at his feet and worshipped him. Who worshipped him? The man or the demon? Uh, the man didn't know him. He'd been in the tombs cutting himself, weeping, 
I'm naked? That demon recognized him, and he ran and fell at his feet and worshipped him and said, We know who you are, Jesus, the Son of the Most High God. We adjure thee by God. Don't torment me, Jesus. Come out of him, you unclean spirit. He says, What's your name? Our name is Legion. So the point I'm trying to make, you go to the second chapter of Philippians uh, 9 through 11, God has highly exalted that name of Jesus, given him a name above every name at the name of Jesus, uh, every knee will bow in heaven. They're bowing in heaven, brother. Uh, in earth, under the earth. And every tongue's going to confess. Every you know, the Bible didn't let me just say this. In 89.7 in the song, God is uh, to be greatly feared in the assembly of his saints and had a reverence of all them that are about him. All you got to do is trust Jesus. That's the main point. And of course you said, what we have the, what we have the big boards, what we have the signs, what we have the magnets, where our children will be seeing the name of Jesus everywhere. Thousands of times a week. Thousands of times everywhere they go. Well, let me finish this, brother. Now, the Bible simply says in 219, in James, if, if uh, you know, the de you know, we believe there's one God, right? Well, the devils believe in one God and tremble. You would got to think about that. The servants of the Lord now must not strive, but be gentle to all men. Patient, apt to teach, instruct, and all those in beliefs that oppose themselves, pre-adventure God will give them what? Repentance to the acknowledgement of the truth. Because the Bible says, I tell you, nay, except you repent, you'll perish. So the point I'm trying to make in 8.8 8 and 8.9 is uh, if, you don't have, if you're living in the flesh, you cannot please God, but we're not in the flesh, but in the spirit. So be that the spirit of Jesus is in us. And if any man have not the spirit of Jesus Christ, He's none of his. So if these people don't see uh, the things that are happening, but they see that Jesus uh, hundreds of times a day, something's got to happen because the Spirit of God is dwelling in that person. So if, you don't, if they don't have the Spirit of Jesus, that light's going to come in. They have two decisions. They're going to gravitate to the light and say, Lord, forgive me. Or they're going to go further in the abyss into the lake of fire. Brother Phil, how long will you be in Orange York Town? How long will you be in this wonderful beautiful tongue of ours. I can I can imagine people that are listening right now, they want to know who Brother Phil is, where will you be, uh, where can they get a magnet if they want a magnet uh, from you this morning? Well, we'll be here until about 2, 3 o'clock, and we've got uh, four fences. When we go back, yes, we want to put it up. We want to magnify the Lord. I don't care what religion you belong to. The Bible says, whom do you and I have in heaven but Jesus? So there's none on earth. We desire besides Jesus. No, so no matter what you've gone through, get on your knees and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I repent. Forgive everybody. Don't hold that grudge. Forgive so you can be forgiven. Don't carry that burden. If you've got a burden today, place it at the foot of the cross and say, Jesus, use me for your glory. Use me. I call the song, Mercy Me Sees. Use me. By the way, I'm in Belize, and I'll be here till the 16th to answer I'm sorry to answer your question. We're at the Best Western Biltmore, and uh, we probably got 500 to uh, six, 700 uh, magnets left. And uh, Inda is going to have things that she can find. Inda Wright, she's also on Facebook, and uh, she's been a secure of the gospel here and a helper of... Uh, 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 you know what? Oh, yeah. And also, Saturday night, uh, we will be in the parade. So if you see us in the parade, uh, we've got about four or 5,000 uh, uh, gospel tracts we're going to be putting out. We want you to come and join us. If there's someone there, uh, you'll see our, our bands. It'll be all about Jesus. Say, well, look, I want to hand some out. Come and join us. God is never unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which you showed towards his precious holy name, Hebrews 6.10. And let us be steadfast. Let us be unmovable. Let us be abounding in the works of the Lord because we know that our works and believes is not in vain if we do it in the name of Jesus. Jesus loves you, brother. And say that, okay? And I know that because you are trying to bring that love, to share that love with thousands of religions. Brother Phil, I must say that um, it's been a, my pleasure to have you on Power of 95.5. You know, and your team that is up here. You know, maybe you can just call all of them by name so that the people can know who is in your team, who all is here with you. But call them by name. Well, let me just share something before you say that, brother. We're here because of the providential, the providential. of God. It wouldn't Absolutely. have happened had we not called that pastor who had just driven by and seen a couple signs being put up in Belize 
He says, oh, where can I get these? And he said, ten minutes later, you called me. I was so excited. And we put it up where thousands of people an hour will see Jesus, the name that's come to set the captive free and seek and save. So if you're hurting, give your life to Jesus. Get into that living bread that came down from heaven that can set you free. Not only will he give you wisdom, he'll give you understanding, he'll give you knowledge, and he'll instruct you in the way where you should go. Put your trust in Jesus. If we can do something while we're here, we appreciate it. It was a miracle. This man came up and said, I'd like you to be on the radio station tomorrow or the TV. And here we are. We're coming. We're going by a Catholic school. And as we pull up, uh, the superintendent pulls in. I said, can we put him on the fence? At the Catholic school? We have a card. Yes, Carla, good morning. Buenos dias. Power FM, you're on here. Go ahead, Carla. Hello. Okay, that one went off. Ok, you can call us back, ok, you can call us back, los puedes llamar de nuevo otra vez, ok, uh, los puedes marcar de nuevo otra vez. Ya son tres minutos para las doce, three minutes now to twelve o'clock, and of course, uh, Brother Phil, I want to know your, the name of your team that is out here, we must, we must recognize them. Ok, well, I've got my wife here, Susie, uh, and then we've got uh, Luis, he's from, uh, San, uh, from uh, El Paso, and... Uh, He's been to, he's an evangelist. He's been in Pakistan where they were preaching to hundreds of thousands of people. We got Scott and Diane. We have a Ten Commandment Park up in northwest Montana where five million people come by. And Scott and Diane, they man it. They've been faithful. Last year they had a hundred night revival every night. They were faithful. And people come in, they said they've been to two great parks, Yellowstone and Glacier. They said the Ten Commandment Park has been the highlight of their trip. We did, when we honor God, I'm just telling you, when we honor him, God is faithful to honor his people. He said he inhabits the praise of his people. And oh, I'm sorry, Enda Wright, uh, we met her uh, years ago, and she's been such a help uh, to get so many banners. And I'm going to tell you, if there's anybody I've met, that's got the spirit of the living God living in her. It's our sister, Inda Wright. Thank you, Inda. Thank you so much, uh, Brother Phil. And of course, may, may you continue to bless this nation. May you continue to, to let the name of Jesus be seen all over this country, all over the world. May the love, may the love of the Lord continue to bless you on your team. Can I just say one last thing? Of brother? course you can. Okay, this is the conclusion, brother, to the whole matter. That you, this is the last two verses in Ecclesiastics. That this is the conclusion that you and I fear God, and all of them out there fear God. For this, this is the duty of every human being. That God will bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or evil. We are ambassadors for Christ. And the last thing I'll say is 94, 16 in the song. Who would believe will rise up for me? Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Support this station. Pray for these people that are coming to you. Uh, bring a donation. Bring a widow's might in. But let God bless you. It says, given it will be given to you. Uh, good measure, pressed down, shaken together. Will men give back in your bosom? Well, God loves a cheerful giver. You cannot outlive God. Support this TV, radio station. Come in here. Uh, ties to it, and look what God can do in the name of Jesus. Bless you, my brother. Bless you. With this, we got to say thank you once again, brother Phil, your team, and trust in Jesus. And remember, it is Christmas, and the reason for the season is Jesus. Thank you, thank you, brother Phil, and your team. Well, thank you, sir. <laughs> Hallelujah. Woo! Good job. All right, guys, this is Pastor Scott. And yeah, it's a little bit warm out here, uh, but we just finished up at Power FM radio station here in uh, Belize. Don't know exactly what city we're in, um, but... 
Orange Walk is where we were just doing some evangelism. And we're going to go around and put up God's word even more. We've already got a couple banners up today and yellow signs and passed out probably a good 100 to 200 tracks. We're praying for people. And it looks like a sister here, the radio uh, station personality. She is going to get up there and do her thing. And, and we just thank you for their service. We love you guys. Continue to pray because people are getting saved. Yesterday, if I'm not mistaken, uh, we had two Indian med students. We were at the pizza joint having pizza, and the one girl had went uh, to order pizza, and she didn't have enough money to pay for her pizza. So Brother Philip said, here, I'll pay for it. She came back to say thank you for paying for the pizza, and then we asked if you were a Christian. She says, no, I'm Hindu, but I do love Jesus. She sat down, we prayed a prayer, and she received Jesus right there in the pizza joint. So you guys, be used by God. Go out, serve him. Amen. And we're going to continue to do that. And then there was a couple other people that got saved. Another brother down yesterday. And then today we're putting up banners and just being used by God. So pray, pray, pray for our safety and as the Holy Spirit leads. And if you need anything at all, give us a call at one 70 jesus If you want to speak to me and Diana, just leave a voicemail and we will pray for you. But if you need a person, talk to Joni or Jeff, just uh, dial their extension. God bless you guys. Pray for the team. We'll talk to you later. Thank you for tuning in. God bless.